Welcome, dear viewers, to another riveting journey of discovery. But before we set sail, we would like to extend our heartfelt appreciation for your constant support. If you've just stumbled upon our channel and enjoy thought-provoking content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. This ensures you won't miss out on any of our future explorations. Today, we're embarking on a quest unlike any other, a quest to discover the timeless pursuit of happiness. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be enlightened on this joyous journey. What truly makes us happy? Have you ever pondered about the origins of our pursuit of happiness? Happiness, a universal sentiment, has been sought and cherished throughout the ages. It's in the small moments, the simple pleasures, where we often find our joy. Today, we're embarking on a journey through time, exploring how happiness has been pursued and found in different eras. Join us as we delve into history, exploring the small, joyous moments that have brought smiles across centuries. In the ancient world, happiness often blossomed in communal celebrations and festivals. Take, for instance, the Romans. They reveled in the celebration of Saturnalia, a festival of light leading up to the winter solstice. This was no ordinary festival, it was a time of feasting, of giving gifts, and of a carnival-like atmosphere that momentarily flipped societal norms on their head. Imagine the joy of the common Roman citizen, suddenly playing the role of a master while their masters played the role of servants. The city would resound with laughter, cheers, and the clinking of glasses. This was a time of merriment, a time when societal chains were broken, and everyone could bask in the glow of happiness if only for a while. These ancient celebrations show us how integral communal joy was to societies of the past. Despite the passage of time, the human yearning for communal joy remains intact. No matter the era, the place, or the people, the pursuit of shared happiness is a constant binding us all in a timeless dance of joy. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, an era of hardships, yet punctuated with moments of pure joy. Despite their challenging circumstances, people of this era found happiness in the communal spirit of harvest festivals. These celebrations mark the end of labor-intensive periods, bringing communities together to share the bounty of their hard work. Amidst the feasting, music and dance, these festivals created pockets of joy and unity in an otherwise harsh world. As we journey into the Renaissance era, a time of cultural rebirth, we see a renewed focus on art, music and literature. The beauty and creativity of this period provided a unique source of happiness. From the thrill of watching a play in one of the newly constructed theaters, to the awe-inspiring sight of a masterpiece in a gallery, and the emotional resonance of a well-crafted poem, the Renaissance era offered a multitude of joyous experiences. Moving on to the 19th century, we encounter a simpler but equally impactful ritual that sparked happiness, tea drinking. This daily routine provided a pause in the hustle and bustle, a moment of calm and connection. Sharing stories and laughter over a warm cup of tea became a cherished tradition, bringing happiness to many. As we transition into the 20th century, the invention of the radio created a new shared experience. Families gathered together to listen to music, news, and serialized stories. This simple act of communal listening, often in the warmth of a living room, fostered a sense of togetherness and happiness. Despite the changing times and evolving cultures, the pursuit of happiness remained a constant, found in the small, shared moments of everyday life. Just as the people of the Middle Ages found joy in harvest festivals and the folks of the 19th century in their tea rituals, we too find happiness in our shared experiences and simple pleasures. As we journey through the ages, it becomes clear that it's these small moments, these simple rituals and shared experiences that bring us the most joy. They remind us that happiness is not always about grand gestures or monumental achievements, but often found in the everyday moments that connect us to each other and to the beauty of life itself. Today, in the digital age, happiness is often found in the small moments of our everyday life. A message from a friend, a beautiful sunset, or the taste of your favorite food can bring a smile to your face. These moments, seemingly insignificant on their own, collectively form the mosaic of our happiness. And with the advent of modern technology, we now have the power to share these moments instantly, spreading happiness across the globe in seconds. A shared meme, a heartwarming video, or a simple text can be a source of joy, connecting us to people thousands of miles away. 
As we journey through history, it becomes evident that grand gestures or monumental achievements are not the source of true happiness. Instead, it lies in the small, everyday moments that connect us to each other and the beauty of life itself. As we reflect on these joyous moments of the past, it's a gentle reminder to cherish the simple pleasures that bring us happiness today. Let's keep finding joy in the small moments, carrying forward this timeless tradition of happiness that has united humanity throughout the ages. The pursuit of happiness is indeed a journey, not a destination. Thank you for joining us on this historical journey of joy. May you find inspiration in the past to seek out and celebrate the small moments of happiness in your own life. As we draw to a close, we hope this journey through the ages has opened your eyes to the universal pursuit of happiness. Remember, happiness is not a place, but a journey. It's not about the destination, but the moments we cherish along the way. So, make every moment count and find joy in the ordinary. And now, it's time for us to part ways, but not without a final thought. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more. Stay happy, stay inspired, and keep pursuing your moments of joy. Until next time, here's to happiness.